Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome. I hope everyone has had a terrific start to the spring if you're up here in the northern hemisphere. Warmer weather, longer days, man am I excited, but I'm even more so thanks to Apple's spring loaded event. This time, they didn't cap on the naming of the event, they delivered with so many new items, so rest assured, you will be seeing a lot of me on your subscription feed. Which speaking of, before I start, only about 5% of you guys watching my channel are currently subscribed. I'd love to bump that up at least to 10 or 15% as my goal is to reach 100,000 within a year. So if you could do me a solid and help this community reach 100,000, I'd really appreciate it. But alright, this one will be a really quick one. We have just one singular color update to the iPhone leather wallet line. So without further ado, let's get the show on the road, shall we? <laughs> So guys, this video is primarily aimed to show you guys a good idea of how this new Arizona color looks like on a multitude of different iPhone case colors and materials. If you want a full, comprehensive, and more in-depth review on the iPhone leather wallets themselves, don't worry, I got you covered. I have done a full in-depth review on these little wallets, I really dig them. Just click on the card at the top right to view that video, but here's a quick unboxing for you guys. Since our last leather wallet unboxing, nothing has changed here. Functionally, this wallet is identical to the others, only difference of course being different colors, but I think color selection is much more important on Apple's leather products than one would would initially think. That's because of the patina effect and I think this specific color will age beautifully. I'll cover patina a little bit more on later on in this video, but we have an image of our new Arizona iPhone leather wallet with MagSafe branding towards the bottom. There's not much action on the sides, some serial number information on the bottom as well as a quick demonstration of how this wallet attaches to your iPhone. It's magnetic so installation is brutally simple. There's no green pull tab to yank off, rather simply pull up on the plastic holder situated on top and voila, there it is. There's a tiny literature packet with designed by Apple in California that basically has all the warranty information, aka nobody reads, and then we'll have this plastic holder around the size of an actual credit card to let you know that you can store your credit card safely in the leather wallet. Like I mentioned, it attaches magnetically thanks to magnets found inside the iPhone and also are embedded into Apple's new MagSafe silicone and leather cases. Rest assured, the magnet placement is precise in the sense that the magnets won't interfere with the magnetic strip on the back of most debit or credit cards. It's a really simple accessory to be honest, but man is that price tag not so simple. $59 a pop. Man, after this purchase you won't have any money to put inside it. Damn. Although $59 is a bit pricey for the leather you get, at least for me and my own personal experience, these little wallets have done wonders for me. I only carry my ID, one debit card, and one credit card and I'm pretty much set. That's all I need. Not to mention having Apple Pay at the ready with Face ID. Thanks to these leather wallets, I've almost entirely ditched traditional leather wallets that are super bulky and end up looking pretty crusty after a while anyway. But now, focusing our attention to the color, and man, Apple, why didn't you go ahead and make this into a leather link band or leather loop? Huge missed opportunity. This color is gorgeous. I am a huge fan of Apple Saddle Brown simply because of the way it morphs over time and gains that beautiful patina. I also made this video to update you guys on the patinas on the rest of the colors and so far they still look semi new. The yellow though is already showing signs of darkening and as many of you know, bright colors like yellow tend to look more filthy rather than showing some character when it ages, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. Arizona is this awesome deep and rich brown color and the naming is so appropriate. The color actually reminds me of all the reddish brown scenery of the Australian Outback. It's definitely a very classic color and I know 100% this baby is going to patina to perfection. The aging process on leather for many is the exciting part and that's surely the case with me. Over time, all the oils from your hands, 
water, humidity, and even the sun all play factors into how your leather will age and change over time. As you can see, here I have Saddle Brown and Arizona next to each other. Initially, when I saw Arizona on the website, it looked kind of similar to Saddle Brown, but now seeing it in person, I'm pleasantly surprised that it is actually more orange and reddish than I initially thought. That's why I love bringing these videos out to you guys, so you can see the coloring in different lighting and on different case combinations. This only adds to the endless combinations you can make with Apple's MagSafe accessories. It's genius marketing. Marketing. My personal favorite combination would have to be the Arizona leather wallet with the newest leather option being added to the iPhone 12 line being deep violet. Don't worry, I'll be reviewing the new colors for the iPhone 12 leather and silicone cases very soon. I love how the purple plays off the case and really brings out that reddish clay look. It looks stunning. A close second would be Arizona with the Baltic blue leather case, but honestly, this leather wallet looks fairly decent on almost every color, including the brighter silicone cases. Overall, I'm quite I'm quite pleased with this color and is currently my favorite. I can't wait to rock it everywhere I go, be it hiking, flexing at the bar like, oh yeah, this is Arizona with Deep Violet, bro, what you got? Oh, an Android? Dang, can't relate. All jokes aside, I love this color and honestly, curse Apple for their genius marketing and having me go out and buy all these colors. It's just so much fun to have different colors to go off the vibe for the day. Yes, $60 is a good bit of money, but honestly, most durable classic leather wallets will cost you that or even more, much more. Yeah, you can only fit maximum maybe three cards in there and maybe a few bills, but for me, someone who tries to use Apple Pay for just about everything, or honestly for someone wanting something extremely simple and don't like the bulkiness of regular wallets, these iPhone leather wallets with MagSafe are where it's at. But I want to know what you guys think. How do you feel about this new Arizona color? Have you picked up one of these wallets already? If so, what are your experiences with them and let me know which is your favorite color so far of the five colors currently available. Drop a comment down below and stay tuned as this is only the beginning. I got new band videos with the obligatory band giveaways coming up, as well as air tags, the accompanying air tag accessories, new silicone and leather cases, M1 iPad Pros, the new iMacs, new Apple TV, and so much more. I'd appreciate a like, but you'd make my day by joining our family and hitting that subscribe button. Alright guys, I'm logging off for now, but I cannot wait to catch you all in my next video.